We're going to be talking about how you can make these choose your own adventure stories using Google Slides. And so this works really well for, for kids of lots of ages. Um, do you guys remember the choose your own adventure stories? Do you ever read? I used to love those. And so you know, I would like, those are the things where I'd like read them and read them again, read them again, just see how many different endings I could get. And so the cool thing about Google Slides is that you can make these pretty easily using them. Um, so the resources for this session, if you decide that you want to do this later, um, I've got like step-by-step -step how to's at ditchthattextbook.com slash viewsonic. And so if you want to grab a copy of that book or in, have a seat or whatever you can, um, I've been suggesting that people write that down like in the cover or on the first page or something. Um, then all of my presentations, I'm, I just did one on how to do stop motion animation with Google Slides. And so that's on here. And then I'm going to do one at 11.30 on Google Classroom Tricks digital interactive posters, all of the instructions on how to do all that stuff are at that site. And so that is ditchthattextbook.com slash viewsonic. And so, um, so anyway, um, let's jump into that real quick. I'll scroll down to that part. There it is right there. This is actually a choose your own adventure story. So this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. This was an example that I made in a blog post a little while back. And so, um, if we get it loaded up here. So this is kind of a neat thing if you're a teacher and you want to create this for your students, or students would be able to create this really easily too. Okay, so here's the first part. It says, you're sitting in the driveway of your house in Indiana. Okay, I'm sitting in the driveway in my house in Indiana. <laughs> and you're ready to take a vacation. You want to decide to go on a whim, just for the excitement of it. I've never been brave enough to actually take a vacation like that, but I think that would be cool. Your house is on a north-south highway. Which way do you turn? Left to go south or right to go north? So which way should we turn? Should we go left to go south? Should we go south or should we turn right to go north? You guys pick, we should go south. Yeah, we should definitely go south. <laughs> this time of year, we should definitely go south. Okay, so we're gonna turn left and go south. So you turn left and head south. Hours pass quickly as you're driving on the highway with fairly little traffic. As you head south, you see a small billboard for a scenic lake. For some reason, it catches your eye and makes you think. What do you do? Are you going to exit and go to the lake, or do you want to keep driving south? Go to the lake? You want to go to the lake? OK, let's go to the lake. All right, so take the exit off of the highway, and you start seeking out the scenic lake. As you pull in, you notice a man standing next to an enormous yacht on the lake. He walks in your direction, and he tells you that his guests for the day have canceled on him and he'd like you to accompany him on a fun day at the lake. Sounds too good to be true, so you have a decision to make. Do you go with the guy in the lake or do you? And see, I could even take that a whole different route and we could decide, do you go on the lake or do you leave? So, so that's one route. You wanna go north and see what happens? Okay, not really. <laughs> okay, let's do it just for the fun of it. So you turn right and you head north. You're cruising for about an hour, jam into your favorite radio station, and suddenly traffic finds to a halt doesn't look like it's going to improve anytime soon. Do you wait it out or take the gravel road that sits next to you? Because you never know what could be down those gravel roads, right? Or the traffic bottleneck may lighten up and you may just take off after that. What do you guys think? It really doesn't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> gravel road? Okay, let's take the gravel road. Okay, so you turn down the gravel road, still seeking adventure. After winding through some curves and hills, you come upon a gorgeous waterfall and a walking trail. Nice, right? We did good. You never knew this waterfall existed so close to your home. So you, t you walk, you take pictures, and just enjoy the beauty of nature, and it's a perfect start to your adventurous journey. Pretty good, right? <laughs> and so you can just keep going back and just keep kind of like going through the different ones. There are four different outcomes here. See if you turn left and you keep driving south, so after driving, you start to get close to the Gulf of Mexico and you basically hang out on the beach, which is pretty nice. And then if you turn right and go north, but you wait it out, this one's kind of funny. You decide to wait the traffic out, it's totally gridlocked, and in your boredom you look next to you in traffic and somehow the star of your favorite TV show is sitting in the car right next to you. Pretty nice, right? As bored as you are. So you roll down your windows and you start to have a conversation. After the traffic breaks, you decide to go seek refreshment at a nearby establishment and strike up a conversation. I'd say just about any of those would be a pretty good vacation, right? 
OK. So if this all looks real complicated, it's actually not very complicated. Let me show you the guts of it real quick, and then you can see how, how you can actually do this with, with students. All right, so here's how you actually create one of these choose your own adventure stories using Google Slides. So the example that we have up here has you're sitting in the driveway, which way do you want to turn? Do you want to turn left or do you want to turn right? And so with that, you're going to need a slide for when you turn left and you're going to need a slide for when you turn right, right? So if we look at this next slide here, this is when you turn right and this slide right here is when you turn left. Now once you've done that, you've got these other two options. Are you going to wait it out or are you going to take the gravel road? So that's two more slides that we need, right? And so there's wait it out and there's take the gravel road. And on the other one it was exit and go to the lake or keep driving south. And so here's our exit and go to the lake and here's our driving south. So basically for every response that somebody could make in one of these choose your own adventure stories, you need to have a slide that says what happens when you, when you make that, that decision. And so they're really easy to make. So let's start with this first one right here. And let's say you decide that you want to, let's say that you decide you want to turn right. And so to make that option, if you're building the slide, all I did to make this was I just added a shape like that. Let me do this with my computer real quick. And so there's a button right there. And so all I did was just draw that shape on as a button, double click on it, and type turn right or north. And so you just type the text in, right? That's not the, that's not the part that really makes all this happen. The part that really makes all this happen is the link that takes you to the slide that you need. And so you do that by clicking on the link button right here. And notice this little box pops up down here. So usually what people use this for is they paste in a link to go to a website. But what I'm going to do is hit this slides and presentation. And it looks like slide number two is what happens when you click on the turn right or go north button. And so we're going to pick slide two there. So now if we do, if we present this, if we actually take it into presentation mode and we click on this button that I just created, watch what it does. It takes you right to slide two. And so that's the way that works. And so if you look at the other slides, like this one right here, it says exit and go to the lake. Well, the lake slide is number six. Notice, if I can get it to work just right here, there we go, it says slide six. So it's linked to go to slide six. And then if you go to this one, that one's uh, slide seven, and so it's linked to go to slide seven. So that's kind of the basics of, of how you set one of these up. So if you want to use this in the classroom, there's just a ton of ways that you can do it. And so with this, this is just like storytelling. And so you could definitely, if you're doing a storytelling unit, if you're working on creative writing, this is a really fun way to do that kind of thing. But also could be for lots of other different content areas. Think about history, for example. If you have some sort of historical event like uh, Washington crossing the Delaware, let's say you lay out a picture right up here and you talk about him coming up to the Delaware and then he's got two options, either cross the Delaware or do something else, turn around and go back. And so with this one, if he selects cross the Delaware, whatever the next slide is could actually talk about what historically happened. Now if you choose the other one, this is where it kind of gets into higher order thinking a little bit. Because if you click this other one, we don't know what would happen if Washington didn't cross the Delaware. And so students really need to know their stuff. They really need to know their history and all of the influences on that event to be able to come up with what would a logical thing be that would happen if he hadn't crossed the Delaware? What would have happened? So you can get into those sort of hypotheticals along with the, the real life. Now, if you provide professional development for teachers, then this is a really nice way to differentiate. And you can totally differentiate with, with students, too. And so let's say we're opening up a topic. Let's say we're talking about how to use Google Classroom. And so you say, do you, how, what's your level of comfort with creating an assignment or an announcement in Google Classroom? And they could say very comfortable or not very comfortable. 
And so the very comfortable ones, you could take them off to more advanced topics. And the not very comfortable ones, you could take them to the real basic topics. And you can even branch out further beyond that. So, I mean, with this one, once you selected, you had two more options and you had two more options. And so that's, you can, you can with this branching option, you can really narrow it down and give them some real, real specific, uh, real specific information.